In this video, we're going to find the aspect ratio, which is a fancy way of saying the area of a billboard or a food truck um, that we can then design for. So that'll make more sense if I just show you. So first thing we're going to do, select an image. So this could be the side of a food truck or in this case, a billboard. First thing we want to do is make a copy of this. So I'm going to right click on it, go to duplicate. The reason I'm doing this is we are going to do some destructive editing to this image. And if we accidentally save it, better to save it on a copy. Okay, so then we're going to open this in Photoshop. Right click, open with Photoshop. And then, so just to give you a little background, the problem is right now is if we wanted to make something to put on here and make it look realistic, we really don't know what size. Do we, we don't know which way we would measure this because it's a trapezoid, not a rectangle. One thing I always recommend when you open up an image in Photoshop, go to image, image size, find out what you're working with, if it meets your requirements. If you were given this as part of a classroom assignment, then you don't need to worry about that so much. But if you're printing, then of course you do. Um, and the general rule for print, of course, is that you need this to be 300 pixels per inch. So if resample is checked, uncheck it, change resolution to 300. And that's the grand old size you'd be able to print that at decently. Um, if it's for web, basically make it what looks good. Um, I have a lot of videos that talk about that as well. But for now, let's just put this back where it was. Option, reset. Okay, so We're going to turn on rulers to give us some guides so we can go command R or we can go view rulers. There's our rulers. And what we're going to do is take the zoom tool. And we're going to get in real close to all four corners, one at a time. We're going to reach into the ruler, drag out a guide right on that corner. And then we can either unzoom and rezoom into the next corner or just simply grab the hand tool and scoot to the next corner, drag out a guide, scoot over to the next corner, drag out a guide. One more time. Then we want to go up to view and we want to go snap to and we want to turn on guides. That's going to help us crop this. Now we're not using the regular crop tool. We are using the perspective crop tool. And to help get this just right, let's maximize so that we can see all four corners as big as possible. It's using the hand tool and the zoom tool just right. Then we're going to take the crop not the regular crop tool, but the perspective crop tool. Notice they're housed together, so you just click and hold over the crop tool, pick the perspective crop tool, and now we've got these guides. We've got snap to guides turned on, so all we have to do is get really close to that corner, and I'm just doing a click. I'm not dragging. I'm just clicking, started clicking on the first and the second, third, fourth corners. Well, actually, you only have to do, yeah, you start one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, so now this is over the top of the image that you want to crop. And then you just simply press return. And it basically took that billboard, which was all white, and it pulled the perspective out of it. Now, the good thing about this is that if we now go up to image, image size, we now have the size that we would set up our Illustrator document to create our graphics. So write these numbers down. Uh, two decimal places is plenty. So I'm going to write down 758 by 8.4, round that up to 6. So I've got 1758 by 4.6 inches. 
then I am going to go into Illustrator. So I'm done in Photoshop. So I can just simply close this. Um, no need to save this image because this is garbage now. We're going to open up Illustrator. We're going to go File, New. And then we're going to make one or more artboards that exact size that we came up with from our image of a billboard or food truck or whatever it was. And I like multiple artboards, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to make sure that the space between these is a little bit greater than what Illustrator gives me by default. But before I do that, I'm going to turn the bleed on. I'll explain why in a minute, but just a 0.125, which is which is one eighth of an inch bleed, is perfect in here. And then I'm going to click here, Advanced Options. And if you're designing for the web, probably want to be in RGB mode. And if you're designing for print, then you probably want CMYK mode. Then I'm going to click on this More Settings. And right here, the spacing in between the artboards, it defaults at about a quarter of an inch. I like it to be like two, three inches, just so that when I'm working on one artboard, I don't have to see another one or be distracted by it. Or if I'm having someone look at it for feedback, I don't have to have them distracted by the adjacent artboards. So we're good there. We've got the size in. We've increased the space between our artboards. I just randomly chose four artboards. We could up that if we wanted to. Uh, we click Create Document, and there we go. We now have four different artboards to work on and design a beautiful billboard for our project. In the next video, I'm going to show you how after you're done designing, we can take this and put it back in the original photograph. So what you want to make sure is that you do the first part with the same photograph that you plan on putting it into later. Otherwise, what's the point? Okay, so happy billboard designing.